What's up, guys? We uh we back here doing it. Uh, so Hello. with our penises. Quick recap. Um, there was a lot of information <laughs> in the last episode. Uh, we're currently at the Blue Water Inn. Uh, Absidy and Rufio are both downstairs, uh, intermingling with the individuals. Um, um, Shart's upstairs, uh, probably just woke up. Yeah. I don't know what Irene and Dirt are doing. Dirt's probably masturbating. Uh, <laughs> he discovered himself. Erwin is the innkeeper. Uh, we met him. He was very helpful. Uh, I've given him two pieces of gold, so we are now probably best friends. Um, we are going to help him out with the Wizard of Wine uh, because that's uh, an over his shipment was overdue by two weeks. He has two sons, private room, blah, blah, blah. There's a festival coming up. We got to meet uh, Zoldar and Kreskin. Uh, they will be our guides eventually to a lake. And uh, Absidy met Rectavio, who is the bard of the inn uh, that we're currently at. I played music with Flourish. him. Flourish. They uh, uh, he won three gold ple or three five, five copper, copper pieces, pieces, and he tipped him a gold piece. So we are best friends. So you guys are probably best friends. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's that. I think. Dope. Oh, and also something I'll say. Because I don't know if it was clear to you guys, because it wasn't to us. We were talking afterwards. The uh, the the camp to the south that is Vistani, that is a new Vistani camp. We hope not the same one. Not not the same. So that might be something that we also check Very out. A groovy, different kind of thing. Bobbity boop. All right, so um, Google gobbles. Back to Vakali. Reality. Oh. All right, God. Back you ready? To Manani. Huh? You ready? I'm ready. Velaki. 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 Okay. And so uh, <clears throat> you are still in the 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 tavern. <laughs> you're still in the water in tavern. Uh, Shart, you're just starting to wake up from your nap. Oh, yeah. Uh, either you rip ass really hard and that startles you awake or... We already... You don't have to say a second option. You know me as a person. You know that's the option we're going Okay. Uh, <laughs> Irina is still in her room. Uh, and dirt is at this point started to come down the uh, the stairway as well, trying to find his master and scene and role play. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'll be here all week. We'll You're gonna be, be here, here all week. We'll probably be here longer than that. I'll be here longer than that. Longer than a week? Maybe I don't know. Okay, bye, Rufio. Yeah. Yes. Look what I got. He gave me a vest and a hat. As you're looking at him, this is a vest and a hat made for a very tiny, tiny human. Why? Rictavio said that uh, I remind him of someone he once knew. I have information about that. Uh, it was probably from his pet monkey. No. Yeah. It was a, It was his best friend. We're best friends now. I didn't even steal from him. He, he thinks it's a big you step. remind him of a monkey. You're a monkey. Don't be upset. I'm just Whatever. trying it's to. It's a nice vest. I'm wearing the vest. Do, wear wear the vest. I support you in in vest wearing. Okay. Um. When everybody meets down here, where where do you think we should go first? Um. Well, he uh, Rictavio was telling me about the Burgermeister. He's a bit of a dick. I don't care about him. Oh, well, I guess not the Burgermeister then. Did I, you find anything out? I saw you talking to those. Those big uh, wolf people. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're very uh, boorish. They do very much like confrontation. So they are friendly with me now. I, I bought this wolf cloak cape thing. So we both have new clothing. Yes. Uh, they do most of the hunting and bring in the wolf stuff. They're also going to be guides to us. There is a uh, Lake Zorovich is uh, north of here, and I figured that would have been a good place. I remember uh, Madam Eva telling us about a lake that we probably needed to check out uh, for the Tempter, a child Vistani. Uh, it's a lake. Find the girl. So cool. I figure that could be that. Didn't she say something about a an entertainer as well? With um, a monkey? Did she? I believe you. Uh... <clears throat> The I'm artifact this point. lead us okay. to him, entertaining man with a monkey, more than he seems. Did he ever give you any, like, straight answers about anything? What kind of questions were you asking? What? Yeah, every time I asked him where he came from, he just 
gave a bullshit answer, so... Let's... He actually... I don't even know if that's his real name. He almost said a different name when I asked. We should keep tabs on him. Does he stay here? Yeah, he's here all the time. And we're friends now. I have You best. have his vest and fez. I don't think he's gonna No, let he you. won't. We're best friends now. Great. Are you jealous? So jealous. Because I have a best friend and <coughs> you don't. Your yeah. hat looks dumb. Shut up! <laughs> it's my hat. I like my hat. Uh... Shark, we were just discussing, wh where do you think, I, we either need to go see the abbot, in my opinion, or uh, a shop uh, next. Um, I mean, we might be here for a little while, so I think that maybe going to see the abbot first makes sense, and then we could go to the shop after. What do you, how do you feel about that? Lead the way. Uh, is Irina with us yet? She, I would say she's still up in her room. <clears throat> okay, um... Dirt's with us, yeah? Mm hmm Okay. Um, dirt. Yes? I think in this town, how much how much gold do you have with you? Um, I mean, I have a decent amount, I guess. Why? What are, what are we doing? Uh, you're, you're a little squishy. Thank you, you've noticed. I want to get you some armor. Um... Well, I have about 137 gold pieces. Holy shit balls. Um, great. Uh, yeah. We're going to try and... I'm frugal! <laughs> Stamps don't cost very much, do they? No! <laughs> I collect them. I I know. We've talked about it. Ugh. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> this, this and how many kid. stabs will this be? Mm -hmm. We're going to go see the abbot. We're going to go to the shop. Okay. Sell some stuff, get some healing potions and whatnot. And then you and I will go to the blacksmith and get you armor. Oh, that would be that would be most helpful. How uh, much did you get from the Vistani camp? What? How much stuff did you find? I we, found, we've never actually talked about it. I found a good amount. On a scale of one to ten, ten being a shit ton of things. I found a five. Roll deception. <laughs> and then roll uh, perception, both of you. Or insight. 18. Oh, my God. God you're good at I hope yours is better than mine. It is not. Am I at advantage since we're both rolling it? Nope. Damn it. Four. <laughs> uh, what did you get? Ten. He got a five. He has five. It was about a five of his, his pickings. Ten, so, ten you, you <laughs> know... <laughs> When you're high. selling the stuff, we're going to be there, right? Yeah, I'll give you some. But we're, like, going to watch you sell it. Like, we're going to be standing there with you. So if you're lying to us, we're going to know that you're lying to us. Can I intimidate him? Well, yeah, him? that'd be a problem if I was lying, but I'm yeah, not lying. I want to intimidate him. Sure, go I ahead. Put a but little, you, but, little you, bit but you already did perception. In him. And you perceived that I was <laughs> telling the truth. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Oh, my God. This is the worst. Ten. <laughs> Roll a charisma saving throw. Five. He, you <laughs> intimidated him. He's getting a little bit big. He's puffing his chest out, and you're like, "What? I know, I know. You'll be there. I got stop it." Stop touching me. Absolutely, <laughs> don't lie to us. I'm not lying. If you had a rape whistle, you'd be blowing. Your <laughs> <I> had, <laughs> Look, it's fine. I'll sell it. I'll give you some, even though I did all the stealing. I mean, acquiring, finding, legal. If we didn't. If we didn't tie up those Rostani guys, they would have found you. And they would have beaten you. Look, uh, I'll take care of you. I got you, fam. Like a sugar daddy. <laughs> take care of my bottom bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're in agreement. We go see Father Lucian. Yeah. Um, Roll out. I'm going to go get Irina. Okay. Uh, you knock on her door and a few minutes stir and... She doesn't come out, and you you slowly open the door, and she's just she's knocked out. She's just passed out on the on the bed, like she's sawing logs. Yeah, like it's not like a, a gross like, <laughs> but she's she's just out. And he's um, he's the only one up there. Unless I'll, anyone else came up with her, him. I'll go in quietly mm -hmm. and and try and like wake her up nicely, and just to to kind of. 
Okay, you give her a couple of shoves and um, <laughs> shoves. Great, you know, that gentle, nice. like kind of like hey. you're kind of awkward hey. with people. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of like stroke Sh with the back. You're like pat, pat. You're like wake up, hey, wake up. And Arena kind of like bleary eyed. She's like, what time is it? Uh, it's about one. It's about one o'clock. So I, uh, I assume we are going straight to the church. Do you? want to stay here and she kind of like looks around and you see her she's just basically it's just her head in these blankets and she's like I mean they, I feel like this is not a fair a question at the moment because you know you can, I want to be safe but this bed is so damn comfortable <laughs> we'll leave dirt in front of the door and if you need anything just holler uh, I will and you see like the there's rings under her eyes as she slowly closes her eyes again and then she's out like usually it takes a little bit to stir back out yeah okay so i'll go back downstairs and i'll tell dirt okay. uh I'll, I'll come and get you before we go to the blacksmith i need you to stand guard out in front of Irina's what she's door. not coming <clears throat> she's not but so you go where what so you go into the abbey still you're still going to the abbey a abbot abbot Costello. Yes. Church. No. Still so, going to yeah. the church. Yes, we're going to the church. Isn't it important to have the person that goes to the church at the church? Well, it'll be fine. Okay. Stand guard. I'll do what I do best, sir. If anything happens, scream bloody murder for Zoldar. Just oh, oh, trust me. Zolar? Zoldar. Zoldar. Yeah. Go upstairs. That's okay. Zoltan. It's different. Uh, and he just, you hear, before we leave, I'll stop in, I'll stop at Zoldar, wherever he's at. Yeah. Zoldar. Yes, super great friend face. Yes. yes. What, one best face. customer? Uh, can you do me a, a huge favor? Are you going to be around for the next couple of hours? Uh, most likely we will be moving into a woods. To kill more wolves for uh, uh, harder for feast. What if what if I bought you a bottle of wine? Would you then hang out for a couple hours? A whole bottle of wine. A whole bottle. Red Crush. Absolutely. Would I do you any other way, buddy? I mean, you have the opportunity to do me dirty, but sure. I would love to buy you a bottle of Red Crush, and if. We have a friend upstairs. He's he's guarding a very nice young lady's door. If he should nice. run into any trouble mm -hmm. and he call for you. Yes. Whatever the trouble be. Okay. Kill it. I do what I do best. Yes, exactly. I kill things. Exactly. Usually wolf. Yeah. Some one time bear. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad that he'll be in good, capable hands. Don't he's kill him or very her. Very capable hands. You yes. see they're all cut up and scarred and shit. He's like very capable can you feel those? Uh, they, no, and you touch them and they're rough. They're like sandpaper. This is, uh... It's my laptop. Let me mute it. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the hands of men who work very hard for his keep. Yeah, so don't kill them, but whatever's bothering them, feel free to do with what you want. Yeah, okay. I'll go up to Irwin and, and buy a bottle of the Red Crush. Okay, and, uh, takes a, your, your silver and he... How much is it? It's one silver. Um, and he gives it to, you see this, uh, about woman in her forties, uh, hair pulled back, black hair kind of hands it to her and goes, okay, my love, you take this man, this, a uh, buying red cross for the two wolf trappers, go ahead and, uh, deliver. And so you see, uh, his wife, his beloved, uh, busting tables and you see the little boys still running around and trying to make a game. I'll, out of I'll give him a gold piece. For you are too help. kind. This is not. This is not necessary. Irwin, Irwin, we're here to help you out, buddy. Yes. I'm paying for everything, but it's fine. Uh, I mean, you chose to do that. <laughs> I paid yeah, that's... for the rooms. I paid for. I'm just saying. I have money now. Like I could do this. Yeah, you made that choice. You yeah. guys are bitches. Uh, Irwin, oh. real, real quick before yes. we before uh, we get out of here. Yes. That uh, that gentleman that was talking to Zoldar and I earlier, he he came over here and seemed to be kind of upset. Is there anything he said to you, offhand, that um, he just seemed very perturbed? I mean, you are a super great customer. I would never try to piss off uh, patrons of 
the blue water in. So he, uh, no, he just seemed very cross, very cross man. I don't know. What was he cross about? I have no idea. He just seemed cranky pants. Cranky poop. Is he anyone to worry about? Do we? I wouldn't say he's anyone to worry about. Uh, yeah. What's his name? His name, uh, don't have name in my head, so did not get his name. Great. Mm. Well, fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck him. Awesome. Hope he Thank you pants. so much, Erwin. I appreciate no, it. No, you are doing a great job. Thank you so much. You, you can just be very honest with me. I'm not going to stop giving you gold because... No, no, not being... I am being... Myself. Can I can roll, roll uh, perception? My face. Uh, no, can I roll... Uh, uh, insight? Uh, uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, roll insight. Yeah, finally a good one. <laughs> Are we all rolling inside or just him? It's just him. He's up there. Uh, 17. Okay, you can just see it's not... He's still trying to read you. He's a little bit uncomfortable. Um... With your 17, um, I'll say in the back, like right here, where the dishes are and the cups are, you occasionally see a black feather. Mm. And he goes, I'm more than happy to uh, assist. Like I said, the room is a very good price. You like to come it's back, beet soup, bread. And then we have the steaks by the, uh, the good old wolf trappers. So Erwin, let's, be yes. before we leave, yes, we will be back. We have friends that are still here. Oh, wonderful! Uh, I want you to know, I'm I am a paladin. Okay. Do you know what that is? I believe you are a holy warrior. Yes, I'm a holy warrior. Okay. I would never do anything to harm you or anything holy or sacred to you. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, you can roll a persuasion. I would like that. Nope. Mm. That's a three. You got a three? He's, yeah. He's just still, he's like, oh, I appreciate your honesty. I will be here with best beet soup in all of a calling. I can't wait to try it. It's pretty okay. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> it's beet soup. <laughs> it's sad. I'm more excited for the bread, but yeah. Yeah, the bread's good, though. It's very good. Is it gluten-free? It is not. It's full of gluten. Good. <laughs> gluten. All of the gluten. All of the gluten. <laughs> All right. Uh, You're like, I, I have, have a sensitive <laughs> tummy. <laughs> Brad makes me sad. Brad makes me sad and gassy. <laughs> okay. So he makes you sad, Kathy? He's sad and gassy. <laughs> a All right. sad Kathy. So we're going to the Abbot. Abbot. We're Go into the Abbot. Okay, so it's questions. another like forty minute walk to the the west, where that church is that you passed. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the um, cracked walls. It's all stone, uh, and you see that the there's a giant symbol of Pelor on the outside of it. Another sun god. Um, Actually, have we run into Pelor in this campaign yet? Or I, didn't I know of him because he was my father. So yeah, you can roll a religion, and you know, you know, your father followed Pelor up until <laughs> you know when you were a child. Mm -hmm. It was a nineteen and a jump to a three. No problem. Yeah. You're fine. You know who it is. Maybe try that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, religion. It would be a four. And um, you go in, and you see there is a uh, human priest, white hair, covered in robes, and. You see um, there is a little boy um, cleaning the, the altar. And you see on the outside as you're walking in, you see more of maybe a kid in his fif like 15, 16, kind of with a shovel digging and planting flowers. And he looks you guys up and down and he just keeps planting as you go in. Uh, Fa Father Lucian. Hello. Yes, I am. I am Father Lucian. Uh, you are the abbot. Yes. Uh, yes, I am, uh, I am the abbot here. Uh, is there, is there someone, somewhere we can, uh, talk in private? Um, I mean, there is not, uh, much place in here. I mean, I have private quarters, um, 
you are in the the light of Pelor. Anything you can say uh, behind closed doors, you are more than welcome to say here now in the open, where there are people who can witness my possible murder. That's not why we're here, Father. I I respect P- Pelor. Pelor was my my the god my father followed. Oh, so he followed the Morning Lord. Yes, I see. Um, so what can I, I help you boys with? Uh, we have, a, a lovely young lady under our care who may need some watching. Watching how? Protection. I am, I am the simple priest. I, I don't, I don't have much to, to use to protect. It's from Strahd. And you see him and he goes, okay, now... We go into office. And he ushers you into this tiny, dank, kind of, like, cramped little office, and he closes the door. Did you just dab? Yep. <laughs> you went. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he sits behind this, this desk, and he sits there, and he goes, I don't know how you found this place, but uh, there is no protection from Strahd here. Not anymore, at least. Why not? Um, this is, uh, this church. It is called, uh, St. Andros Church. Um, it once held the bones of St. Andro. I protected this. This was a safe haven. Um, any kind of attack that Strahd brought with his army. And, uh, about a few weeks ago, the bones have gone missing. Do you have any idea... Where they might have gone? Um, I have a few suspicion. Um, I really only one person really know who uh, who has it, and it is. Give us a name, Father. Uh, I mean, it is very small boy outside. It is um. One of your helpers. I have a hero, man. Yes, the uh, the little boy Yeska. Um, Eska? Yes, he is orphan. E-S. Y-E-S-K-A. Yeska. Why would he know where the... I told him. I tell that he's the only person that tell that the bones are under. That is what... He's scared, boy. I, I protect him. He's worried that monsters and vampire and werewolf come and Collect him, take him away. And he hasn't. You think he may have taken the bones? No, no, no. He is he is a good boy. Um, I do have my other suspicion. Uh, I don't know if it is um, anyone else in the. It could be anyone in town. But yes, guy is a good boy. He would not take bones away. Could he have been? Intimidated into telling? He's an atheist. You want to intimidate the small? No, oh. no, no. Did someone else maybe intimidate him? He's a the small, impressionable boy. I mean. You guys stay here with the father. Father, do you mind if I speak to Yeska myself? Uh, sh- I mean, you are more than happy to try. I, I try to get out of him. I, but... I hope I can roll better to when mm-hmm. I talk to Yeska. Because <laughs> you do great with kids. Maybe. I, I've been better. <laughs> Rufio. I've been better. You really aren't good with kids. That's not true. I was great with Lucian in in Barovia. My most recent in oh, with right, children, right. I was very good with them. Okay, He's you're better. Keeping notes I mean, for us. It is either it could also be uh, Mili Voj. He oh, I'm is sorry. What Mili was that? M i l i v o j. Mili Voj. He is a young boy you probably saw outside the shovel. Brawny. He also knew of the bones? No, he just... He is not a very... He's a very temperamental boy. Uh, I am too scared to confront him. I'm afraid that if he does have it destroy or doesn't divulge the information to me. I'll, uh... I'd, I'd very much like to talk to them. Of, of course. Um, you guys, are, you stay here and, and talk you, to you are the father paladin, about Irina. Yes, you, father. I mean, you might be able to find the bones. 
I see will, if we can get it back. I will do everything I can. If it means that it'll help our friend, then absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so, that, that he's most grateful. Ab- absolutely, Father. Uh, you guys definitely still make ask about, like, if Irina came, and she should stay, and shit like that. But I'm going to talk w- to the kids. I mean, once this is safe place again, we are more than happy to, to bring in. We still have people from the town. They come in. Uh, there is a few people. There is a um, uh, sad old woman. Her name is uh, Wimelnia. Uh, she, her son is a shoemaker. Uh, and he's been in, in prison by the Burgermaster for speaking out against him. Yeah, and she him. comes in every day and she prays uh, that her son will be set free. So, you're more than welcome to come. I, I am more than happy to assist. I just, without those bones, it is not as safe as it once was. Well, we'll let's find those bones. We will you know. try and help you, Father. You talk to... Uh, Yeska and Shart, stay away from everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gas. Okay, so you go outside and you see this little boy with sandy blonde hair and green eyes. And he's just scrubbing this floor. He's like... Doing a good job hey. there. Thanks. I try very hard to make sure that stone is nice and clean for when our guests are at. Who's coming? Are the people who usually scared of the night, uh, people who pray. Um, usually I'm not supposed to say much. I light the incense and then I sit in the corner and I don't talk. I understand that. I'm not much of a talker myself. <laughs> <laughs> Deception. <laughs> so uh, we're looking for, well, the abbot told us about those bones. And when you mention the bones, his hands kind of stop and he goes... I don't know where they go- went. They were here one day, and then they they were gone. Do you have any idea who might want of who might have wanted to take them? No. And he kind of puts up the the wag, and he puts it away, and he gets something else to do, and he starts shining the uh, the cracked glass and the and the, the stained glass. You sure? You seem a little upset about that. If someone were to take it, it wouldn't have been your fault. Father Lucien is the only one who told me about them. So unless he told anyone else, get yelled at. Well, I won't let him yell at you. Could maybe you have told someone else on accident? And he, you see him and he, as he's wiping out the window, you see him look out and you see uh, Mila Vulch digging and he kind of he briefly looks as he looks back down he's doing the same window jam did you tell him did you tell Milivoch? Mm-mm. can I roll for persuasion sure 19 he he looks back up and then he looks at you and he looks he looks very concerned that, you know, he doesn't want to rat anyone out. And so he just kind of, once again, another quiet, like, no. I'm real good at keeping secrets. If you tell me, I won't let anyone know. But we need to find these bones. I told someone... Who? And he just he looks he just looks super uncomfortable and he, he goes um Milovoch. Milovoch. And you see like big kid tears start to well up in his eyes and he starts sniffling and he's wiping the same place. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for telling me though. Let me, uh, I don't have, like, anything good to give him. Hey, do you like, do you like hats? I don't know, I've never had a hat. Do you like this hat? This is the top hat. No, the it's fez. the fez. <laughs> the fez, and he goes, that is a very small hat. You're a very small person. 
It would look like <laughs> it would look huge on him though. He's still a child. <laughs> and he goes, it looks like Piccolo's hat. Who's Piccolo? He's the monkey. There's a monkey around here? He lives where they make the toys. Where's that? We don't... I don't go often, but... Blonsky comes around every once in a while, and he'll bring me something like a yo-yo, or... He usually brings Piccolo with him. What was that name? Wonski? Blonsky. Blonsky. Oh... Uh... Huh. He usually says, if a toy is no fun, it's no Blonsky. Full circle. It's a circle. <laughs> Marriage. It's like a circle. Well, thank you, Jeska. Do you want the hat? You can have the hat. I'll hold on to it when Piccolo comes back. Yeah, give it back to him. And he, he takes the hat and puts it around like the band around his neck so it stays and he just he continues to sniffle and wash the window and then I leave <clears throat> okay did you get anything out of him oh boy yeah so we were oh right boy. he told uh, Mr. Teen Angst over there oh oh great <laughs> so he knows he <coughs> also I, said lead on that one <laughs> Milovich no. yeah Milovich uh, I've had the feeling he also said that uh, Blunsky comes by every once in a while with a monkey. What, the toy maker? Yeah. Yeah, he is the little monkey that the, the weird man with the carnival trunk. Uh, uh, Blunsky, does he look like a uh, half elf, pointy, pointy ears, but everything else not as, not as no, sharp? No, Blunsky is fat human man. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, you are describing the man with the carnival. Uh, the Ro Riverdetto. Rigavio? That is the one. He came in a few months ago with a uh, carnival tent. Uh, it's like a big box. Um, and he was not allowed to keep his monkey anymore. I gave him to a Blonsky to hold on to. Till he left. Okay. Blonsky left. No, till no. Uh, Rictavio left. When, oh. is, when is Rictavio leaving? I don't know. He stays in a Blue Water Inn all the time. That's where he stays. Is is the is the carnival still here? The circus still still here? It's not the full circus. He came in a few months ago, uh, boasting he needed actors and performers for this great big production he was going to do. Yet, you know, most people here are Barovian. We keep to ourselves. We try to survive. He's barking up the wrong tree, as they say. We'll. Uh... We appreciate the information, Father. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Milovich, Mister Teenangs. Please, just be careful. Of course. <laughs> Where are those bones, Dick? <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Kid, show me the boner. I mean, <laughs> off the top rope. Okay, so you go outside, and at this point, Milovich is uh, chopping wood. Do you uh, you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> You sure? I, I just chopped some wood the other day, and it, uh, it kind of ruined my, my weapon. Sounds like you're bad at chopping wood. You're, pro <laughs> you're probably right. Uh, I never had to do it very much when I was a kid. That must be nice for you. Uh, it was, but here I am now, so. Chop. How did you, uh, how did you get here? How did you come in the care of the, the church? I, um, I'm orphan. I come here and I work. And I bring food over to foster parents. And money over so we may eat. Yeah. I I also don't know about that life, but it, it must be hard. Very hard. Do you, uh, did you have a good relationship with your foster parents? Is it you guys get along fairly well? They're fine. Just fine. Mm -hmm. Not great. Not, you know. Eh. I could uh, chop. I'm, I'm new. I'm new to this this town. Uh, mm -hmm. 
I could help your family eat if for some information about what's going on in the town and what you what you know. You seem like you know a lot. Um, seem like a smart kid. I mean, you want to know about the Vistani camp in southwest of town? Uh, that, among other things, and and the more you tell me, the more information I get, the the more gold I'd be willing to to part with. Mm. Vistani is not welcome in uh, Velaki. That Dirty people. That doesn't mean that you're not welcome there. I would not want to even step foot there. Why not? They're dirty people. They are disgusting. What have you heard? That they worship the devil. That they are full of tricks and lies. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. Some are different than others. Mm. Would you say that, you know, your foster parents are great people and that everybody's like them there are uh, they're a lot nicer than the Vistani people did the Vistani people do something to you no not to me they are just not present well, did the Vistani people hurt someone close to you never seen Vistani I stay in walls and I stay pure away from their uh, influence. You ever seen uh, the wolves? What, the wolves that they brought in, the, the two men who hunt? Yeah. Well, have you ever seen one alive? Yes. When was that? A month ago. Mm. If you stay in the walls, where did you see the wolf? The wolves, they come in. Some of them are able to shift through the wall. Sometimes the guards do not, aren't fast enough, or find them a little too late. I must, I must scare you a little bit. No, I've I've seen them, I've fought them. It's uh, it's not, it's not great, especially when they're around people you care about. You you know, I uh. I have a friend. She's very beautiful. Mm. And a wolf ripped a huge chunk out of her neck. It was terrifying. That sounds so, unpleasant. I can't speak for her, but I, I'm just going to say that it probably was. We wanted to bring her here to the abbot to mm. be safe. We, we heard... That St. Andrew's Church could protect from all kinds of things. Wolves, Save vampires, mist. Safest place in Vakali. Strahd. Mm. But Father Lucian tells us that it's not, uh, it's not as safe anymore. It should be. Nothing has changed. That's not what he says. I see. I mean, as long as I've been here, there has not been any modifications to outlook of uh, church. Still praise to pay Lord. Uh, what about the bones of St. Andrew? I do not know what that is. Insight? Yeah. Seventeen? He's lying out of his ass. <clears throat> Look, Milkovic, Milk, Milovic, Milovic. Mm. If I could find these <clears throat> bones, I could bring my friend here and she could be safe with you. And it would also help you. I'd be, I'd be willing to give a few pieces of gold to the person that helped me find these bones. I don't have the bones if that is what you're asking. I'm not. I'm asking for where the bones could be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to get mean soon, and I don't want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, really just like about to just walk in and hold the kid up by his fucking neck. <laughs> that's not going to do good. That's not going to look good in the, the, to the father. Milovic. Mm. My, my family, 
was killed by werewolves when I was younger than you. I was probably around Yeska's age. I can't imagine the fear that you must have having no control over what comes in and out of that gate. I can't imagine the fear that you have that you don't know where this next meal is coming from. You gotta keep chopping wood and you gotta do what you can and I understand that. If you tell me where these bones are, if you know, I won't tell anyone where I got them, where I found them. And I can promise you that I will do everything I can, everything in my power to make sure that Strahd and every wolf and werewolf in this area is dead. Roll a persuasion at a advantage. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, nine. Nine altogether? <clears throat> yeah. And he goes, I'm good. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you want to meta real quick? Yeah. He's not talking about the game. He's a 15-year-old? Yeah. I was talking to an 8-year-old. You're coming at him like he's innocent. Um, well, I'm we just know he's trying a piece to, of shit. I'm trying to be nice before I have to but that's, be mean. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like, why they, like, he's, well, he, No, because you're, you're trying to pay him off. You're trying to... Things that would motivate you. This kid doesn't give a shit. You know what? He's afraid. And he needs to be more afraid. Okay. And make him afraid of you. <laughs> but, well, like I said, that's why he, I'm just about to fucking walk out there. Yeah. Just... But may, maybe he told someone about the bones and he didn't mean for them to get stolen. But now he's stuck because the bones are gone. And if anyone finds out, he's he's in trouble. So if you get the bones back, he's not going to be in trouble anymore. Yeah. But call him a little shit. Fuck that say, guy. Call him a fuck face. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you're kind of like, okay, and he puts the axe down and he gets his shovel and he starts moving around the other side of the building. All right, Milovich. Yeah. I've tried very hard to be very nice. And I've tried to relate to you. Everything I've said to you is true. I haven't lied to you, but you're lying to me. And I don't like that. So I need you to cut the shit and start talking to me. Because really, really soon, I'm going to get really, really fed up. And you see this greatsword I have? Mm. It's bigger than anything you got laying around here. So let's have a real conversation. Okay, go ahead and roll an intimidation check at advantage. God damn it, I hate when I can't see. That's a 13. Okay. That's a modded 20. No, it's a modded 21. Okay. You're like, fuck yeah. Thank God. <laughs> so you see him and he grits his teeth and you see him stake the, uh, the shovel. And he goes, the Burgermaster keeps saying all will be well. We keep doing these festivals and all will be well. Nothing is going to be well. Okay. I have to look after not only foster parents, my little sister. And she is sick. So yes, I did tell someone. I told Henrik van der Root where and the bones were and he hired me to steal them. I brought them to him so I can have f food for my sibling. Where's Henrik now? He is where he always is. He works at the... Uh, at the uh, coffin. He's a coffin maker. He's in town. Usually busy place. Only time he's not busy is at night. How much did he give you to steal the bones? Give me five gold. And he trusts you? I told him uh, the information on the gold, on the bones, and he gave me the golds. I... Sure. Are we done? And he undoes the shovel and he puts it over his shoulder. We're done for now. Look forward to the next conversation. You should. Great. Fine. 
Good Ben. <laughs> he lives there. <laughs> Go to your room. You're delivers. shitty at chopping wood. I am better at you than chopping wood. That's a low bar. That's, That's a also, low blow. Also, uh, he didn't really like. He's not good with words. Um. Cool. So Henrik Vanderfoot has them. Uh, well, he's he is a, coffin a coffin maker, maker. in town, mm-hmm. and he's not busy at night. It's the only time he's not busy. Right. So add that to the list of shit to do. Um, so I guess I'll go back in and, and convey this information. Wait, did you say Vanderfoot? Van, yeah. I th- wasn't it Vanderroot? Vander, Vander or, Vort. yeah, yeah. V O O R T. V O V O R T. My bad. N- well, that's why I was like, Vort. foot? It's didn't a weird. Sound right? <laughs> it is an R. I just scribbled it bad. It's okay. not good. Vanderfruit. Vroot. Vanderroot. Vanderroot. Um, so I'll go in and and convey everything to uh, Father Lucian. Okay. I wouldn't. Uh, he's stubborn, but his heart's in the right place. I wouldn't come down on him too hard. Uh, that is most troubling. Um, please, please get them back. You don't have to worry about that. You but can. You are more welcome to bring a friend here, and we are more than happy to assist and protect as best we can under Pelos' light. I appreciate that. We'll we'll be back with her uh, soon. Of course, Father. Again, please make sure Yeska and Milovic are, are taken care of. Of course. Thank you for for your hospitality. Hey. That's what they do. Okay. It's- so. You you shortly leave and you're back in uh, outside of the the church. Where to next? All right, boys? gentlemen. So with said information, how do we prioritize? Well, I need. He's busy until the night. To, or yeah, we can only talk to him yeah, at night. Anyway. What time? About what time is it? I'd say it's about two. Okay. So, um, um, what's the distance between like the shop where we would sell things and the blacksmith? Um. Because back to the end, it's about 40 minutes. Yeah. I would say blah, probably within the town square, so it would be a 15-minute walk from the inn. Okay, and how far is it from the church? So about 50 minutes. So it would be around 3 by the time you get there. Okay, so 3. Mm-hmm. And we'd probably be in town for, what, 2, 3 hours? Yeah. What, before it's nighttime? Before, well, we'd be in town doing the things that we wanted to do for about 2 to 3 hours before the night. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. Okay. Sounds right. So, I mean, that's still, enough time for us to we still shop stuff. and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I still think that that's okay. So, role play. <laughs> uh, I think we should still go into town, uh, get the items we need for our journey, or <laughs> yeah. at least this, and uh, move forward accordingly. Yeah. We've got I a couple we, hours to kill. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to sell all of the items that you acquired. <clears throat> Um, Good word. With how uh, squishy some of us have seen in the past. Uh, Health potions. Good idea. Yeah. Um, We'll load up on those. Yeah. I think we we still have a couple, right? I think we have two. Three. Got three right now. Good. Yeah. Let's get more of those. Yeah. (laughs) Well. So we're two, gang. I zoned out again. Uh, We're going to go to the shop in town. Okay, great. So, um careful on the stealing <laughs> takes you about 50 minutes you're going through you pass uh, a few places on the way uh, places you, of interest sure you passed you pass a massive mansion huge uh it's basically you see a whole bunch of like in the carving of the stone different scars from different battles uh, and you see that there are drapes covering each window. Um, is that the house we have the deed to? No. <laughs> it is not. Uh, you continue. Um, you see, <laughs> as you get to the town square, you see a, uh, a cramped shop that has a dark entrance uh, okay. above which... Cramped. Uh, cramped. Above which hangs a wooden sign shaped like a rocking horse with a B engraved on both sides. Uh, and then flanking the entrance are two arched lead frame windows. And through the uh, dirty glass, you see jumbled display of toys and hanging placards bearing the slogan, Is no fun, is no Blinsky. I think that's Blitzky's toy shop. I think you're right. 
And as I'm you, very as observant. You, as you continue, the shops and the homes are enclosed, uh, this ba- enclosed this town square and are decorated with limp, tattered garlands and painted wooden boxes filled with tiny dead flowers. Uh, at the north end of the square stands a row of stocks, locked in which are several men, women, and children wearing crude plaster donkey heads. In the center of the square, peasants in patchwork clothes uh, and patchwork clothes eye you suspiciously as they use cups and vases to draw water from a crumbling stone fountain. And then standing tall at the center of the fountain is a gray statue of an impressive man facing west. All around the square are posted proclamations. Come one, come all to the greatest celebration of the year. The Wolves Head Jamboree. Attendance and children required. Pikes will be provided. All will be well. The Baron. We're going to have to handle that. Yeah. Sounds like a purge. A little bit. I don't like killing wolves. We're not going to have to. That was three weeks ago. I know, but still. So as you're as you're bickering, you see uh, this man uh, go through. Have to pull him up on my appendix. Uh, there he is. You see this man. He is uh, covered in uh, different kinds of wolf pelts. He carries this massive axe uh, that comes to a point at the end, and this big sharp blade in the front. And he's ordering these two guards. He's like, that is out of date. Go ahead, break it down, put the new one up. And uh, as this commotion happens, they rip down, they start ripping down the pages. And as you're walking around, you look over and and out says, come one, come all to the greatest celebration of the year. The festival of the blazing sun. Attendance and children required. Rain or shine, all will be well. The Baron. Uh, Hello there. Sir, sir. Yes. Uh, we're new here. Uh, my name is, uh, is. Rick. Thomas. No, I, I want to give a different name. Uh, my name's Pally. Hi. Uh, that's a dumb name. It's not a great name, but it's the one I got. So, you know. How can I help you, Pally? We're, we're new to this spot mm-hmm. and, uh, we want to know what's going on. Who are, who are you? We're, we're new here. I'm Izik. 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 It's very yeah. nice to meet you. What's uh what what's your title in this? You look very important. I am a uh, rank of the uh the guards here. I work under the burgomaster. How is the burgomaster? Is he well? Oh, will be well. That's very good, I think. It is. I So what's uh what's this festival about? The blazing sun it is to bring good fortune upon our town. And you've had a lot of these festivals? We have a festival. Uh, this will be best festival, however. It'll keep us safe. We're new to this town. Are we allowed to come and hang out at the festival, participate? You're more than welcome. The ch- attendance is, uh, is provided. That's They're needed. That's great. Uh, should we bring anything to offer? or No. Just bring yourself and you enjoy the, uh, the festival. Now, I don't know if you heard, but we're new in town. How does it protect the town? It protects the town by showing a morale. You don't have town spirit? Well, we're new in town. <laughs> so it it's like a friend thing. Like friends come and hang out and people are like drinking and not paying attention to their wallets and talking about mattresses. <laughs> sure. Cool. I'm Derek, by the way. Derek. Derek. Nice to meet you. No problem. Pally, Derek, and... <laughs> You, uh, sh- I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> Not good at small talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just moved here. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard that that you just moved. Your new one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just we just moved here. Sorry, he's our friend and he's learning disabled. He's pretty though. We just we just moved here. <laughs> it's okay. That is good. Sean. Um, it's okay, Sean. Enjoy the town. Thank you, Isaac. Well, I'm sure we'll be seeing you again. I hope not. Oh, come uh, on. Uh, I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, you see, and he puts this giant massive axe on his shoulders as he moves forward down, and he barks at, orders at the guards. And, is my axe Bye, Isaac. Bye. It is. Your axe is bigger, but his, his looks nasty. Okay. Good to know. And, and he's like the head guard guy? Nasty. Nasty. Is it? Nasty. Nasty. 
The hills are alive with all of you nasty. Uh, well, that was exhausting. <laughs> you had to be nice. Yeah. Yeah, you I, were not good at sounding nice. Go ahead, roll uh, perceptions for me. 19? Eight, 18? Mm. Sorry, 17. That's 6. Looks like an 8. 17. Okay. 17, 18. 18. 14. Uh... Because you rolled high, Shart. Uh, I rolled high. You did roll high. I rolled higher. Do the hustle and bustle of everything. You wouldn't really... Do the hustle. And my, wouldn't really notice it, but Shart, you're a mountain man. That's my go-to. Uh, there is a very big raven uh, hopping from house to house as you guys have moved. Uh, can we see what color eyes it has? Or can Shart see what color eyes it has? It looks like it has green eyes. That's a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> Shart has to point it out. Ha <laughs> <coughs> Hey, hey, uh, uh, boys? Yeah. <coughs> Got a raven situation here. <coughs> it's raven uh, Simone. See. <laughs> God damn it, I was going to make that joke and you fucking fuck it. So, uh, big bird. Uh, black one, not a yellow. Oh, Fine. Yeah. Well, around the house to house, you see it. I see it. Hard. It's, hard. it's hard to miss. Thank, thank you, Shart. Well, I mean, uh, you didn't see it before, so. What do we? This town seems to love ravens. They or at least that one dude. Very much love. Well, we got a bad look from a table, so I would assume that the town is fond of ravens. So we will not kill these. No. Got it. Not at this time. Uh, how far is Izik from us right now? Uh, I mean, he's still, he's going through the, uh... Hey, Izik! Yes? Uh, what's up with the big bird? That is a raven. There's a whole bunch of them here. Yeah, but, like, why is it going from house to house? Do you have food in your pocket? Uh, not currently. Maybe someone else has food in your pocket. In their pocket. Uh, why why do we need here? food? <laughs> Why, why do we need... in the business of knowing what the ravens do. Okay. Sorry, Isaac. Didn't mean to upset you, buddy. Thank you. We're best friends now. You're real uh, cute. Um... <laughs> you have a nice butt. Well. <laughs> Keeps moving. He goes actually up to the stockades, and as you look at this, he's pulling off the masks, and he's getting a sponge that he's shoving in their mouth. That's how you assume that <clears throat> these people are able to drink, and they're shivering. They're cold. They're wet. And he keeps. There are uh, three men in the stockades, two women, and two little boys. Well, I don't like that. Three men, two women, and two little boys. Yep. And they they put the donkey heads back on them. Who was it that we needed to get? Someone was the shoemakers. Captured. The shoemaker. The shoemaker. Yeah. yeah. Her shaker. son. Or no, her son makes shoes. Made shoes. Her and now son he's is. In the one of the, one of the men. is in the stockades. Yeah, her son yeah. is in the stockades. Or he's, he, I don't know if he's in the stockades. He might be at the... He might be in jail. In the mansion as well. Yeah. Um, Didn't really get a lot of info on We him. We really need to handle that soon. Um, well, to the store. Yeah. Let's, uh... How many guards are surrounding the stockade? Two. Sorry, I don't know that. Shut up, Alexa. But I know. Now. Okay. I say, after we talk to Hendrik von Smellyfoot, Vanderfoot. Uh, we let these people out. I think we wait until it's dark. Well, we have to wait till nighttime anyway. <clears throat> oh, right. He's a nighttime dude. Yep. I concur. Good. Shart? Yeah. No. Let's go sell shit. Well, I, uh, yep, I, I live, thought you yeah. said my name was Sean. I live here. It was ju we were lying to him. You know what a lie is? Uh, yeah. Good. That was good. <laughs> I I live here. Uh, we're new here. I live here. That's you. That's what you sound <laughs> like. <laughs> fuck, fuck both of you. So yeah, we'll, we'll end I'm up like, at the let shop. Let someone know when you guys are playing a damn game. Okay, so where you want to go first? Shop. Shopkeep. Okay, and you see this very old um, man, and you see this, uh, bring up. this wide bar that has a different eclectic kind of like swords and you know rope and backs and he comes in and he goes yes how could i help you uh hi we're travelers and travelers. Oh. we're looking for some objects 
Oh, uh, well, I am a procurer of many objects. What is it entirely that you're looking for? Uh, we need a... What's the what's the kit we <clears throat> needed for to make healing potions? Herbalist? Yeah. Do you, right. do you perchance, have a, an herbalist kit? Uh, let me... I mean, that is hard to kind of come by. Let me see if I have something like... And you hear, like, things clattering in the back and... He goes, um, herbalist, herbalism, um, hmm, -mm. and he, you see him pull out this little leather pouch, uh, and he opens it, and inside it looks like it has, uh, clippers, a mortar and pestle, uh, pouches and vials, um, that hold, that can hold different things in it, um, yeah, I, I seem to have one lying here. <clears throat> How much? Uh, let me see. That is about six gold pieces. Yeah, I'll buy that. Oh, yes, well sold. And you see a very shaky hand come out for to collect the money. Thank you. We also have some objects to sell. Oh, yes. What are you looking I to, uh, to sell? Uh, well, I have 20 rubies. 20 rubies? Yes. Oh, goodness gracious. We all actually have 20 rubies. Well, we have... 20 gold worth of rubies. Okay, you have oh, rubies yeah, that are about 20 gold. Yeah. Okay. Oh, each one of us has that amount? Yes. Yeah. Hey, I got 20 rubies. <laughs> you got a ruby slipper right here for you. I don't think I added that to my thing because I wrote it in my book first. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we added it. Yeah. So, we we have rubies. Do you want them? And you see him and he kind of inspects them and he goes, um, these are quite nice. Um, 20 seems like a fair price for them. So you each get 20 gold, or he puts them all in piles in front of you. I also have these other gemstones <laughs> I found. And by found, I mean my family gave to me. <clears throat> I see. Um, here, would you, they are approximately, there's nine gemstones, and they're worth 100 gold each. But I say that in character. <laughs> so he inspects them and he goes, "These, these are very expensive. I don't, I don't know if I have this much coin to to trade. I'm sorry." Do you do you know someone who might? Uh, not that I. I mean, you you can ask around in the different shops, but what about for trade? Trade? Well, I'm sure if you go to any of the specialty shops, you could always see if you could trade them. Certainly. What about with you? Uh, well, <laughs> depends on what you're looking for. We're looking for a lot of health potions. Or maybe uh, a bag of holding. Bag of holding. Oh, those are hard to come by. Um, well, you seem to... You were one for one on things that are hard to come by, but you have. Um. Well, uh, as far as healing potions go, uh, he kind of goes in the back and he comes out with... Um, Two little cases. One is like here, one's there. Opens one and it holds uh, four potions of healing, just the regular kind. And he goes and gestures over. There are two uh, greater potions of healing over there. And how how many of these gemstones would it take to have you part with these? Oh goodness. Um, they're how much each? One hundred. One gold. Well, let's just start. How much money would you <laughs> would you sell those for? Let's not overplay our hand here. This is a very poor town. We could become very favorable very soon if we aren't stingy. Depends but if we spend yeah, if we spend too much, then we look suspicious and draw attention to ourselves. I don't think the shopkeeper. I have three hundred twenty-eight gold. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm trying to find this stupid table of how much. Yeah, Each how thing. much it is. It is a good point, though. Don't Thanks. want to draw too much attention. Yeah. No dead noise. Um. Alexa, how much is one healing potion worth? Sorry, I don't Whatever, bitch. Alexa's dumb. Guys, don't buy on Alexa because she's dumb. Yeah. Yeah, that's what uh, I think. Uh, hey Alexa, Alexa has the dumb? best stuff, but Google has the best AI, and Siri is on the best. I like how this stuff became 
about technology. It, yeah, life is technology, and Cortana sucks. Well, we can. And then there's the refrigerator one that no one gives a shit about. Um, there's a refrigerator one. Yeah. Well, for these two together, uh, it usually would run about three hundred gold for the two graders. Uh, DM. Wait, one fifty a piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, how? What is? What is the roll on a greater healing potion? So greater healing potion is two d fours plus four, as opposed to the one d four. And how? Okay. <clears throat> how much for the? Uh, how much would you part the regular healing potions for? Um, usually they're about fifty each of gold pieces. All right. So then altogether, that's five hundred gold. Want to give them four gems for everything? How's that sound? What? Uh, what are you offering him? Four gems for all of it. Oh, goodness. Um, I suppose that would be most uh, beneficial for me. And you see him close them up, and he puts them to the forward. So, so it's was, what, three? Oh, it's 4d4. Four four. Four, four well, four. it's four four healing potions. Yeah, four uh, regular. Regular and, and two, two greater. greater. So the greater are 4d4s four plus four. Four okay. d4s okay, plus four? Okay, that makes four? a little bit more sense. Yeah, Gross. and then the regular ones are two d4s plus four. Because I was like, at first I was like, my bad. Those, I knew yeah. it was wrong. And that was for five gemstones? Four gemstones. Four gemstones. Yes. Don't, don't, hey, hey, no, no, I wasn't sure. Hey, 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 That's hey, why I tried, hey, I tried to low play it. Stop trying to... I did your job. Stop <laughs> trying to fucking <laughs> give gemstones away. That seems out of character for Shart, if I'm being honest. But... <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, like money. <laughs> I never had none. Don't need none. Do you have any uh, silver weapons? Oh, no. Most likely you would have to... Um, I'm going to go talk to Pietro. Yeah. He's a blacksmith. Uh, how about that bag of holding? Uh, that, unfortunately, I I don't have... I don't have a bag of that, holding. That is okay. Um, don't even worry do about it. Do you need anything else as far as... Um, Caltrops, uh, shovel... Uh, soap. <laughs> Lanterns. Uh, shark could use some soap. <laughs> <laughs> soap yeah, is, uh, fine. two copper pieces. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. I, uh, I, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh, fuck you, see, you, guys. you see this nice, like, hunk of purple bar of soap, and it smells like lavender. No, I it's fucking hate lavender. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna get that. That's yeah, fine. Thank you. We're gonna each give you a copper piece. Most yeah, appreciated. Yeah. No, get thank something you. That smells like fucking rosemary or some shit. <laughs> Some lemongrass for And then sake. also, I mean, you seem like you are people who carry lots of things. I have uh, bottles. If you need those to, to keep things in, they are two gold pieces each. But they they hold good amounts of uh, anything you put in. Any liquid, uh, specimen, I don't. Do we need those? If we're going to make our own healing potions. Yeah, I think we should probably grab a few. How many do you have? Uh, I'd say he has about five clean ones and not shattered ones. So he puts five in front, and they're about they're five each, so it'd be twenty five gold. I can give you. Oh, this. I'm sorry, two. So it'd be ten. ten. So not. I'll just give you money. <laughs> yeah, I'll take those. He'll give you money. Oh, okay, very very good. Um, good day for you at the shop, huh? Hey, you know it's a living. That's. I try very hard to maintain. Do you uh? Do you know about this festival? The which one? The festival of the sun. Uh, that is the uh, newest festival that is coming in out of our great burgermaster. Do you do you like the festival? Love the festival. Insight. Yeah, roll insight. I have zero insight. Uh, ten. You can tell he's not. He doesn't think the festivals are working. But he has to say it or else he gets, he gets put, locked. He up. gets a fucking donkey plastered head. Did I? Did I tell you we're not we're not from here? <clears throat> I could tell you we're not from here. You're yeah. in my shop. Yeah. What What's wrong with your shop? Oh, nothing. It's just you know it's specialty items that most people most people don't need healing potion. Is there Is there another shop around here? Maybe with enchantments or or if I was looking for in spells Barovia, of some we, kind. I mean, we have not had great wizard here in a while. Um. There is, uh, there was the mad mage of Mount Beratok. Um, he used to skulk around North Shore of Lake uh, Zarevich, shooting lightning bolt 
at the fans into the water to kill fish. Oh, That's how he hunt. He sounds great. Um, I mean, he hasn't really come down in quite some time. He live, he lives there. But honestly, other than that, we don't have many uh, wizard to sorcerer folk. Well, thank you very much for your your help. Thank uh, you for your patronage. I very very uh, appreciative of your spending money here. Maybe if you get anything else in, uh, you let us know. We're gonna be at the Blue Water Inn. Okay, I will let you know. Uh, look out for anything by Victor. Victor. I am Victor. Victor. Hey, Victor. Shopkeeper. It was it was a pleasure, Victor. Yeah, yeah so good guy. Good guy. Thank you. <laughs> so as uh, so we're walking out now, right? Yeah, you're back. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna stay back real quick mm-hmm. to talk to the shopkeeper. Okay. Hey, so if I were to, uh, I'm looking for some a darker market, some sort of secondary market. Mm. I'm a mattress salesman, you see. I see. <laughs> but uh, if if there was some place where I could buy and sell things, let's call it under the table. Where might I go? And he kind of looks and he's like, I'm sorry, it, um, I do not know what you mean. You don't have... Can I insight? Yeah, you can write insight. Twelve. I mean, he genuinely seems kind of plexed. Like, there's no... At least from his experience, he hasn't run into anything like of a black market kind of deal. Okay. Might have to st- keep searching. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thanks anyway. You're welcome. Peace out, my dude. <laughs> Stay sweet. <laughs> what okay. uh, what was that about? Uh, just looking, just trying to see if I can find some fellow thieves. Interesting. Like you don't get into enough trouble as it is. I can always get into more. That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> Hot. Um, so, I have... A fair amount of gold, uh, but going to the blacksmith, I feel like if you would be so kind as to divvy up what you found in the Vistani camp now, we could uh, better suit ourselves up with things. I, I need to go. I would like to get dirt, some armor, and I, I'd like to get the claymore fixed, and I don't know how much it's going to run me. So. Sure. Well, what I, what I found was... Uh, Nine, those nine gemstones. Which we used four Now we use four, so I have five. Yeah. Uh, And one tiara, which I gave to um, Irina already. Oh, what a surprise. I mean, whatever. (laughs) Sad dude. But, uh, and then these nine cheap pieces of jewelry. So we can split those up. You guys split them. I'm good. Okay. Dope. Okay. You help me out with them all, and right now I got more money than... I came with, and I'm okay. I bought some things. We're good. Cool. Is he going to be able to use those? Use what? The herbalist kit. And uh, the... I'm proficient in survival, and survival is what an herbalist uses, correct? Uh, for herbalist kits, it is... You have to be proficient in... Pull you back up. Like Worst comes to worst, I'll give it to one of you guys, but I'm pretty sure being proficient in survival means that... Uh, you get herbalism? Yeah. And that's a outside of game thing, right? In between, that's when they get to the. So it is. Game. You have know. to. I it was. You get a proficiency with the kit adds to your proficiency bonus to any ability check you make to identify or apply herbs. Also, proficiency with this kit is required to create antitoxin and potions of healing. So I would say survival. Survival okay. in nature is okay. Cool. Probably Which, good with it. I am proficient in survival. I'm not proficient in nature. Um, so you should be all right. Yeah. Cool. So when you're making things, we'll add a plus two to so it I or got, plus three, whatever your proficiency I got, is. What did you give me? Uh, what are you going so to I'll give So I'll give you, I guess, two gemstones or three because I know you're going to need. So three fine or three what? What is uh, it? Three, hi, hi. three gemstones. Three gems. That are 100 each. 100 gold. And then I'll give you three of the cheap jewelry, and I'll keep six. Okay. Because those are a lot less. Three cheap, and how much gold is that? It's 25 each. 25 gold. So you're out in the the town square? Yeah. Okay. So you see Ezek uh, shouting, and he's in the uh, the toy 
the toy store mm -hmm. and he's he has something in his hand that he pockets and he goes and you continue making these or I burn down your shop and you hear slam and he keeps going forward and his guards are like what are you looking at let's go Isaac hey buddy what you got there none of your business oh I thought we were friends I thought we were compadres you were mistaken Pally but are we friends? What is uh what what's going on in, in there? Isn't Blinsky good? In, in, in Snow Blinsky, it's no good. It says it on the sign. He does. He makes the best toys. What toys is he gonna continue to make? And he just starts moving forward. Take what he has. Uh, I attempt to pick pocket. <laughs> oh god, this is a bad <laughs> fucking idea. Go ahead and roll for me. Oh, God. This would be slide of hand, right? This is a bad idea. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> oh, no. He, You kind of, like, stroll by him, and he looks down at you and goes, can they help you? And you're like, mm. I wanted to give you this. What is it? A piece of cheap jewelry. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Give it, it to your mom. <laughs> puts it in his pocket. I now have five. <laughs> yeah, he's big. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Uh, let's let's go into Blinsky. Okay. Um, let me go back to Blinsky. It's no Blinsky. It's no blacksmith. It's no fun. I want to blacksmith. That's like my purpose right now. Yeah, but Blinsky. but these things keep happening. I know. So uh, as you go in. You see Gedolf Blinsky. He is a heavy set man, goatee. He has a monkey on his shoulder. He has a purple and green hat. And he's wearing uh, like a jester's hat. And he's wearing like a harlequin kind of blue and green to match the hat. And he goes, uh, <laughs> you see that the, the jester's hat's a little bit of uh, moth tune. Um, he is kind of sitting there and. Uh, He's kind of drumming his hands onto the counter, and he goes, Oh, visitors, welcome to uh, Blinsky's Toys. Is no Blinsky. Is no fun. How can I help you? Oh, I'm, my name's Pally, uh, and these are my compatriots, Derek. And Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean. Sean, does Sean have something wrong with him? Sean. <laughs> Just kidding. He doesn't say that. Sean is, Sean. Sean's a little, is a little special. Yeah. <clears throat> He's very special. Super special. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, friends, to House of Blinsky, where happiness and smiles can be bought at bargain prices. Well, Perhaps you know a little child in need of joy, a little a toy for a girl or Blin boy. I have to say the whole thing. Okay. So we what? just moved That's here. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay attention to Sean. Sean uh, seems intense. <laughs> Sean likes to be intense. I'm Sean. intense. Mostly made of pillows. He likes oh. pillow tents. I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um. So, I, I just saw Isaac come out of here. We're, he's a close personal friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> he didn't seem to be leaving with a smile. What was that? That all about? Uh, everyone roll perceptions for me. Uh, that and is a nineteen modded twenty. So you're looking at all different toys that are on the shelves. There's one that uh, has different little price tags. So. Uh, there is a headless doll that comes with a sack of attachable heads, including one with its eyes and mouth stitched shut. That is nine copper pieces. Oh my God. There is a miniature gallow, complete with trapdoor and a weighted hanged man for nine copper pieces. There is a set of wooden nesting dolls. The smaller uh, each one gets, the older it gets, until the innermost doll is a mummified corpse. Uh, there is a wood and string mobile of hanging bats with flapping wings. Uh, a wind-up musical merry-go-round with figures of snarling wolves chasing children in place of prancing horses is nine uh, silver pieces. There is a ventriloquist dummy that looks like Strahd Van Zarevich for nine silver pieces. And that's... And is that one? There's only one of those? There's only one of those. And there is a doll that it seems he was working on that looks remarkably like Irina Koliana. And it does not have a price next to it. 
Do, do. Are these the only toys that you have, friend? Uh, I mean, I have, uh, we have other little toys, but these are best sellers to make happy children. When, uh, <coughs> Isaac left, he said, keep making those toys on his way out. Which toy was he talking about? He, uh, he wants me to keep making special doll. He doesn't make, he doesn't pay for the doll, but, uh, he threatens to burn down my shop unless I make Wait, it. Is it the doll without a price tag? The one of the... Um... Seemingly very attractive woman. Yes, uh, Isaac gives me the description of the doll, and I make, I make the doll. So, how many of those those dolls has he had you make? Every month I've been doing this for. Been a Plinsky's been an institution for quite a long time. That's good. I mean, five years. So, about how many of those dolls have been made? I've started making them maybe about a year and a half ago. So 15, 16. I get better every time. He comes with more detail. Uh, ha- comes with more. Does he give you more detail? Yeah. I mean, I, every time I make, I make a little bit better. Huh. How much for you to make these dolls? And not sell them and just keep giving them to me. Hey, I cannot do that. These equal uh, burn down. Well, well, it's a well, lot li- of uh, listen man to, water. Listen to what I have to say here, uh, Mr. Blinsky. Well, um, are we on a first name basis? That's my father's name. <laughs> <laughs> That's his last name, Blinsky. <laughs> I, I mean, you are more than happy, Thomas. Or was it Thomas Pally? Pally. Yeah, Pally. I mean, yes, sure. Uh, what's your What's your name, my friend? Uh, Gadolf. Gadolf. Um. I'm saying you make the dolls, and once it's completed, it just comes with me. Um, and you that you can make them a little slower. I don't need them all the time. I like, just a. Hey, um, why do you want the dolls? Uh, they remind me of someone. She's kind of a babe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't pay attention to Sean. Remember how weird he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, we we have more. We have other dolls. I'm more than happy to pay for. And you uh, see, at this point, Piccolo the monkey gets up and he reaches the higher shelves, and you hear, and he comes back down and puts one of the headless dolls with the sacks on it, and puts his hand out. Okay, a- we don't no put the hand away. That's rude. But he is. I mean. More than happy to well, oblige. Well, look, I'd very much like to to keep buying this, especially if they keep getting better, the the female dolls. And, uh... <clears throat> look, it. you want female doll, I give you... I make you offer. Okay? There is a uh, great inv- inventor toy maker I am student of. His name is Fritz von Wieger. I hear that there are rumors... Of uh, his greatest invention, it is clockwork man. Man made out of different type of clockwork gears. And that it lives inside. And he kind of gets up and he puts his ears, he covers the strawed puppet's ears. And he goes, guys, I'll read them off. And he goes, um, if the, you would be so kind to find this masterpiece and see, deliver it to me in exchange. I offer to make you... Beautiful to- doll of this woman. Perhaps she was sweet on her. Maybe I put wedding dress on. It's just business has not been good. And I think this masterpiece would really up my game. I'm offering you business. You bring me the clockwork, man. Because this is extra work that I would be having to do. I make you one spectacular doll. Gorgeous. I use real hair. Oh God, <laughs> that's, that's morbid. What? This is like horse hair. I yeah, use like no, real. No, definitely. I. I. Yeah. No. Uh, and and Fritz lives here. He lives in town. No. And he gets back up and he covers the puppet's ears again. Castle Raven. Oh, got it. He lives there. Why do you keep? Uh, what's what's going on with this this guy right here? You don't you don't know who this is? It uh, looks oh, perfectly God. like a. A p- 
parody version of the man you saw two nights ago. Mm. Do you know Yeska at the... The little boy? Yeah. Yeah, he'll deliver him toys. He doesn't really like the Batmobile. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. He's probably a son of a bitch. He's probably Uh. a dick. (laughs) Um, Do you think he would enjoy any of these toys in particular? I mean, I tried to bring him, and he is he is very hard to please. I just want to make the children happy. I understand that. Uh, get, I would like to buy something for Yeska, and I'd also like to buy this this puppet of this man. Oh, so you are interested in the triloquism? Oh, that yeah. Is, it's a passion. I want to burn <laughs> this man is nine silver pieces. I'm going to give him a piece of gold and tell him to, you know, give something nice to Yeska. Okay. That is most kind. Um, I will get my best uh, thing I can find. There is uh, there is the wolf one chasing the children. Uh, so, something, something, something nice. Nice. He's he's small and impressionable. I will do well. I mean, I used to make teddy bear. That would teddy maybe bear. be something. Yeah. Oh, uh, and we're not. Sean is gonna get one later. We're gonna get a bigger one for Sean. Okay, so I, you bring like me bears. clockwork. I make you beautiful doll of woman. I make you giant you person you size teddy bear. I was raised by bears. <laughs> Sean yes, wasn't raised Sean, by bears. Sean was raised by bears. That's how he's changing Sean his was. back. <laughs> Is he changing his backstory like slightly? <laughs> my name's Chart. <laughs> uh, I will make you biggest teddy bear that you'll be like, oh hey, what's this giant bear mauling my face? Oh no, give me kisses because it's teddy bear. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> I said you look shitty. Bye. <laughs> Uh, Derek, can you take Sean outside? I think he's going a little stir crazy. Yeah. Hey, Sean. I'm let's... Sean. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Come on, Sean. Let's go oh, okay. outside. Can we, can we get a little lollipop? No, oh, maybe. So wait, Rufio, ask about the monkey. Uh, okay. Uh, no, we're, no, we're outside. So yeah, uh, a teddy bear for Yeska. I'm gonna take this doll right outside and not fuck it up. Um, <laughs> Please burn it. <laughs> where did you get your monkey friend? Oh, uh, it was uh, a gift. From uh, Riktarvo. Yeah. And uh, yes, he. I am holding on to him until he leaves with his wonderful traveling circus. Uh, do you know when abouts that'll that'll be? He I have no idea. He hasn't given you any kind of. He hasn't really given me time frame. But I I watch it, and I feed it. Must be nice having a, a little partner in this. Oh, it's nice. I mean, he shop. brings people in, and people are go, "Hey, look at the monkey!" And monkey, you know, monkey, monkey. I just can't bring him indoors to anywhere that's like formal. Does uh, do you do you give him back bandits. to Rick Tavio very often? Do I what? Give him back to? No, not Rick really. Tavio. He hasn't really visited the monkey. That is me. I'm okay. Do you know where they came from prior to this? Uh, I know he came from the mountains, but he's uh. I mean, this this box is still uh, to the east. No one really touches it, though. His his box? It, it's like uh, you know a locomotive. Uh, it's like caboose. Uh, I'm not here. I'm just reacting. No. <laughs> That's interesting. Sounds good, Sean. I'm Sean. We're new here. <laughs> I'm new in town. <laughs> oh, how about how far out of town do you think that is? I mean, this is still in town. It is right on the outskirts of town. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to go check it out, where would I? Uh, where would I go? Just, cool. just east, and uh, hard to miss. Mm-hmm. You oh. head east. All right. Yeah, it's not very hard to miss. I mean, it's like, not like caboose, more like stagecoach. Um, yeah, it's very nice, very ornate, uh, very ostentatious. So you can't kind of miss it. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, get off. Thank you so much for all of your help. I'm going to take my awesome ventriloquist puppet that you're going to see me using eventually. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, uh, uh, you should probably join up with Rick Tarvio, see if you can make a little coin with that little oh, guy. Oh, you know what? I think I could. I bet you could. I think so. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Uh, <laughs> fuck that puppet. I fucking immediately just start smashing the yeah. puppet. Yeah, that's what I want to do when we get outside. Okay. Before, before I go through the window, I want to start smashing it on the ground. Okay. Start ex- describe to me in excruciating detail. Oh, the first thing I'll do is um, I'm going to take uh, 
my javelin from mm -hmm. my back, and I'm okay. just gonna just cut his face off okay. first. Great, just just, just peel it's his wood. face right off. Just oh, no. yep, right off. Oh, uh, and then I will throw it into the dirt and start stabbing it with said javelin. Uh, while mumbling something along the lines of underneath my breath, you dirty son of a bitch, I'm gonna fucking kill you, I fucking hate you. Uh, yeah, um, and just basically until it's chips of wood in okay, the street. It's just, it is just chips of wood. Uh, uh, and bitch. I'm going to uh, scoop up what, what's re remaining in it with, I assume it has like some kind of cloth clothing yeah, yeah. on it, and I'm gonna keep that in a ball, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm gonna put it in my, like, I'm going to tie it up so that nothing falls out. I'm going to put it in my, my bag. Yeah. And I'm going to have Dirt burn it when I get him. Okay. Sounds great. With yep. his hands, or is it going to start a fire? Yep. Okay. No. Nope. Want him to do, use hand his hands. Hand cannons. Yeah. <laughs> ha <-choo! laughs> you seen Iron Man 2? <laughs> You're going to be Man. bigger than Mickey Rourke. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. Where to next? I, uh, I needed to. No, oh, no. You, you good now? <clears throat> Can I be short again? Yes, be shart again. Can you be shart and Sean less? <laughs> He's stuck going like this. Both. both. And shart. <laughs> same. They look the same. They're doing the same face. Um, about, so, so the inn is about 15 minutes from here. About 15, okay. 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go get dirt so that we can hopefully get him some armor and my, my claymore fixed. What about, what do you think about you guys checking out, um, the box with Irina? Yeah. Rick Tavio's box. Yeah, that's fine. I wanted to go see some weapon stuff, but that's cool. I mean, you have weapon stuff. I, I just like to look. I like well, let's, a lot. We'll be in this town for a while. If... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, Shard, okay. Shard, you go look for a bit. I'm going to go try to find some fellow takers. I need Thieves. dirt. Somebody needs, to be somebody needs to be with Irina. I'll stay with Irina. I thought we were going to find the box. I also thought you. I'm going to the blacksmith, and I need to get dirt to get him fitted for armor. You said someone needs to be with Irina. Yeah. So if we're going to the box, you would take Irina with you. Oh, that was not clear. Well, I he said he, he it. literally said that. It was I'm not the dumb clear. one, and I caught that. <laughs> I'm Sean, and I caught that. Sean knew. Sean knows what's the fuck. All is right, let's up. go. Great. Uh, so we'll go back to the inn, and yep. uh, and I'll go up to see Dirt. Hopefully, still. He's still there, and he's just like. <clears throat> Anything happen? No. Playing with his jacks. No, yeah. <laughs> Three, yeah. <laughs> jacks. Uh, she's, she seems number. fine, sir. She looks like she's she's awake and she's kind of just been, I guess, composing herself. Uh, I have a task for you later, but oh, we'll, we'll, sure. we'll get course, there. Of course, of uh, course. I'm going to go in to the room. Okay. You go in and she's just kind of like looking out the window and just... <sighs> Sighing, oh, hello, Rufio. Welcome back. Oh, thanks. Uh, do you have a cloak? Uh, One that covers your face? I mean, I can put this, uh, put a hood up on my, yeah, I mean, kind of. Doesn't Absty have, like, four cloaks? Yes, I do. Uh, I, <laughs> you say as you, like, go under his legs, and you're like, <laughs> yes, I have plenty. Didn't we use them for something? No, we, we made a cloak rope to we try made a cloak rope, but I still have <laughs> Try and catch oh, okay. you, but you still died. Um, <laughs> cloak robe. I would wear. I would keep a cloak up. Uh, we okay. were just at Blinsky's shop. The toy store. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's making a doll of you. <laughs> That's so disturbing. Yeah. That uh, is unsettling. I. I think Are you'll you be sure noticed. Are you sure it was me? It could have been anyone else. Nope. Mm. It was you. It was definitely you. And there's a. The I, head guard guy who's ordering him to continue to make it or he'll burn the shop down. What? You missed a lot. There was things that happened and I was shot. <laughs> Just keep your face hidden. I think you might get noticed if you're walking around hoodless. I see. Oh, it's okay. And obviously disturbed by this, you see her. She gets one of the... Absolutely, you hand her one of the cloaks and she puts it on and... Puts the hood up, and she goes, so where are we going? Uh, you, Shart, and Absidy are going to check out uh, Rictavio. He's, our, he's the bard downstairs. He has a box to the east of okay. his things. I believe that he's the artifact that Madam Eva spoke about. So we are talking to him, or we are going to the box? 
Oh, we already talked to him. We're gonna go check out the box first. Oh. He doesn't like talking much. He doesn't give a lot of answers, so I feel like if we have more information, he'll be more willing to talk. Okay, that sounds fantastic. <clears throat> I like uh, boxes. I'm going to go with nice. dirt to the blacksmith. Do you need anything? Uh, no. I mean, I maybe sharpen my sword, and she hands you his, her, her sword. Uh, I will. Uh, she has a great sword, right? Mm -hmm. I'll give her mine to use. Okay. Thank you. In in case anything of is course. to happen. Of course. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, you guys. What the? What about the abbot? Are we going to the church at all? After we do this. Eventually. There's Eventually. something we have to do first. Well, they'll they'll talk to you on the way. Okay. Okay. And then for just for argument's sake, uh, we're gonna we're gonna stick with you guys. Uh, so you you make your way <coughs> east, the three of you. Uh -huh. You catch Irina up on the bones and the burgermaster and all these weird things that you came in contact with. And at the very far end of the east you see a um, a wagon. Uh, the wagon is very colorful, something that you would uh, guess that uh, what your Riccario, Rictavio watches. Uh, and it's in the middle of a large stockyard that has several different kinds of lock sheds along it. Uh, there lies adjacent to a roomy uh, warehouse. There's a wooden sign above the front gate that says Aseric Stockyard. Uh, parked at the south end is the sturdy carnival wagon. Um, and it says on the uh, side of it, Rectavio's Carnival of Wonders, and a heavy padlock secures the back door. And you see these two middle-aged people kind of like talking to each other on the on their porch outside of their, their stockyard. And, uh, yeah. So, is the, is the, um, is the cart in eyesight of those two guys? Yeah, it's in eyesight. Oh boy. Hey, Shark. Yeah. Do you think you can distract them? See if I can pick into the uh, the cart. I mean, I'm not uh, good at conversation, but yeah, no, let's try. And Irina's like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> distract. <laughs> yeah, I guess it might be better for you to distract them. Do you want me to distract with him? Yeah. Yeah, that means we can do it together. Not that kind of it, but like the oh. distracting kind of And she. <laughs> Puts her, her hand on your chest and tries to get you to calm down. Okay, so we need to come up with backstory, no? Yeah. You are... Um, Sean? Sean, you are my uh, very uh, stupid... This is character you're playing, not you. Yeah. <laughs> you are a very sweet, stupid husband of mine. Okay. And we will be talking to them to see if we can find a um, uh, board... Room and also, um, say, uh, what these people have. We'll say our dog is missing and see if maybe they, they can help us that. find it. There we go. Just what's don't... the dog's name? Is the dog named Sean? <laughs> no, Sean, you're you're Sean. Just let me do the talking, okay? And you just look pretty, you're doing great. <laughs> you are, remember, you are husband, yeah. You are Sean, you are a husband, yes. Repeat it. I am Sean, husband. So, she goes, be fist. I'll and she starts pushing Shart. So Shart <laughs> and uh, Irina go up. What are you doing? Uh, are they already talking? They're going to start talking. And then I start to sneak around back to the cart. Go ahead and roll stealth. Uh, as you do that, you kind of walk up to these two. Hello, how can they uh, help you today? Uh, yes, we, me and my, my husband, Sean, have been looking for uh, our dog, uh, Potato. Uh, he is a yellow dog, um, wags his tail a lot, uh, wanted to know if perhaps he passed by here. My husband, very upset, is like son to him. I'm Sean. <laughs> I'm Sean, I love, I love Potato. <laughs> I'm the husband. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, I sorry, we haven't seen any dog lately, but um, we can keep a lookout. Uh, we saw him run through through there. Could you possibly show us around? Where are you pointing? 
back behind wherever he's not. Okay, they. I. I mean, we have business to to run. I mean, potentially you would be able to find dog in the the, the town. No, <laughs> no, he's in here. <laughs> Upset. You think he's under the stairs or back there? Big, I, I don't know what he's okay. And they both kind of get up and they're like, Lair, where are you talking about? And so you start leading them away it's... from the uh, follow the me. Back. What did you get for yourself? Modded 20. Okay, modded 20. S- modded 20. So you get up and you're close to this wagon and roll a perception for me or investigation. Do, do, do. Ele- 10. 10? Okay. So you're putting, you're looking at this peeling paint and you're seeing the, the edge of the sign. You see that Shark <clears throat> and Irina have managed to move these people and you're putting your hands to this. And um, at this point, the wagon, as you're putting your, your head to it, it suddenly lurches as though something big has thrown itself against the uh, inside of the wall. And you hear the cracking of wood. And the scraping of metal. And the snarl of something unknown. Oh boy. Upon closer inspection, you see that the sides of the wagon are spattered with dry blood. And you also see an inscription on the wagon's door frame that reads, I bring you from shadow into light. And with that, we will end this episode of Curse of Strahd. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying Velaki. I hope uh, everyone else is. Got a lot of fun information <laughs> here. Everyone looks super upset right now. Confused. He looks frustrated. Just, you're not there. Question. You look you're not confused there. <laughs> and you look panicked. No. I'm Sean. I'm potato. the husband. I need potato. Potato. <laughs> potato. 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 Great. Well, follow us on all the stuff. All yes. the Instagrams, the YouTubes, follow him, Top Tabling on Twitch. Twitch TV slash Top Tabling, where I play four D&D games, including this one, if you need to catch up and don't have anything to do on a Sunday. Cool. we love our collab together. Woo! Wow. All right. Fun stuff. Love Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I'm Cecil.